So Kevin, the club announced the re-signings of BJ Cole, Neil McLaughlin and Cammy Elliott. What have the three players shown you over the short time you've been in charge? Um, I think just quality, you know, and listen, they're, they're, not, they're not going to be the last, hopefully, you know. I do want to have a chat with several others, so it, it's the start, you know. Um, I think it was important to, you know, it's hard to put goals into the team, is one thing. Um, you know, and Neely and Cammy have certainly provided that for this club over the last sort of 12 months or season, if you like. So that was a big, you know, push to get those two in, you know, I just think there's high quality there. And, and then with, with BJ, BJ's just been, a, he's shown a real determination, you know, to be a success at this club again. You know, I think he's been here before and had reasonable success, you know, without getting to where the club wants to go. But he's had good success. He went and did a wee shot at the leagues and did okay. And but he's been back here and he's just got a real desire to be here, you know, regardless of who's here and if I'm here or somebody else, it doesn't matter, you know. I think I look at BJ when he's here and he looks comfortable, he looks happy. And, and that's, that can count for something, you know, sometimes it's a, being happy makes you a better player, sometimes, and I think that's what happened to BJ. Do you think that could go for all three of them? Obviously, there is an extent of quality there, but personal Just happiness and actually wanting to be here, do you think that plays a big part in it? Aye, you know, I, I think the, the previous management team obviously seen a lot of qualities in these guys when they, you know, and, and took the step to bring them in, so, you know, huge credit and kudos to, for that, and... But, you know, I think the fans here have seen it, you know, the, the board have seen it, the teammates have seen it, that these guys consistently have, have been at the, the positive end of what's been positive for East Cobride this year. You know, when you, when you talk about good performances and good results throughout the season, you know, Neely and Cammy, particularly at the start of the season, obviously BJ Latterly, but, but you know, I just feel that they've been spearheading that kind of fight back and, you know, that kind of revival, if you like, in the second half of the season. And, and others have lent in, you know, and as I said, we'll definitely be chatting to other people and, and find out first if they want to be here and second if we can reach a deal. Yeah, do you think there's an element of confidence in the club that the fact that the players are willing and able to stay, do you think that's got a pulling power for the club as well? I think so, I think every club... But managers, you know, coaches, doesn't matter to me. I think if, if a club can retain their top players, it, it goes away to showing and, and, and saying to people, you know, this is where we want to go and this is, you know, what we don't want to do is weaken. We want to get better, you know, and and, and that's there's some decisions made because you have to change it, you know, to get a different type in, you know, and there's other decisions made because you don't think somebody's good enough or whatever. Um, but those decisions were based and those three can take this club forward. You know, of that there's no doubt in my head. And, and Bill, Martin and I, you know, we, we all sat down, big shrug of goalie coach, you know, Mick. It's, you know, we've, we've all had wee bits and pieces to, to add into those arguments. So, as I say, thrilled, delighted that the boys have committed to us and really looking forward to working with them for a prolonged period. Would you say that these three types of players are players that you could build a team around? I think it's a start. Um, we won't win a game only with three, that's for sure. But... You know, Cammy, as I said, he's brought a lot of goals, he's he's been sort of, you know, leading the line, if you like, as a, as a central striker and out wide at times as well, but he's been a focal point for the team, you know, and, and I think there's a belief here when he's on the team line, you know, I think fans like it, <laughs> they don't like it when he's not there, um, and with Neely, I, I've, had, I've known Neely a long, long time, um, I had Neely at Stirling for a short period and loaned to Motherwell, he's just got ability. I, I wish I'd have any of his ability to be honest, he, he's got fantastic ability and it's up to, the, to us as a coaching staff to get the best possible out of Neely for a full season, you know, and, and, and maintain his goals, you know, maintain his levels and hopefully we can do that. Yeah, but I think it says a lot for the club, they've been able to retain two of their player of the years, so thank you very much for your time Kevin, I appreciate your talking no to me. No bother, thank you, see you later.